percent of people are uh, uh, insolvably unmathy. That that about five percent of people just aren't going to do math and aren't going to learn it, and that's totally fine. We only need actually okay. a small fraction of us to do math. The rest of us can take care of it. Uh, and about fifteen percent of people are are. Uh, our, our podcast. It looks fine. I'm going to go to a neutral locator. Hi there. Hello. Hi. We're doing street epistemology in the park today. Okay. Uh, this is a process where we ask you something you believe, Masking something you think is, is true. Okay. Uh, and we are live streaming. And Great. so, are you okay being live stream recorded? I am. Okay. Uh, please put on the headphone headphones so you can hear us really well. Okay. Mask. Let me do that. Oh, and Kimberly, would you grab my mask? I have a mask. Okay, great. Sorry. These are six suggestions. Did 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 you see any of those? Okay. As liberal as no, and evil fascism are any gender norms here to stay? Any human walk them Just suggest. Just. just I'll go with the. Is there such thing as a non-racist? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So, uh, yeah, like this? Yep. Okay, uh, is there such thing as a non-racist? Is that something uh, that can be? Well, first of all, I feel like lately my interpretation of what racism is mm -hmm. and what others may seem to believe mm -hmm. is different. Not saying one or the other is correct or, mm -hmm. uh, so most part, you know, I feel like Racism always has like a, a negative connotation. Yeah. Uh, I believe that racism is anytime any prejudge, um, prejudge, uh, prejudgment, or I mean prejudgment, um, I guess statement or action is made mm -hmm. based on race. Okay. So primarily that's going to be in a derogatory way. Yeah. But even like I feel like there's positive racism. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the the question of yeah. whether it's possible for is it possible for any person to be sufficiently unbiased in this regard as to uh, yes. a little puppy? De definitely. Uh, I feel so, like it is possible, but as far as ha have I've ever seen that? No. Uh huh. I feel like racism is is everywhere. Okay. And it's I don't want to say it's like he, she's like really into balls. Yeah, I, I get it. I, I totally understand what's going on here with the puppies. Oh, okay. What's your first name? Oh, and what's your first name? My name is Want Phil. Want me to hold Phil. her Hello, in Phil. the meantime? Yeah, can someone hold Julia, calm down. It's not for you. Thank you. Sorry about that. Oh, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> okay, so... It's possible for some people to be effectively unracist at all, but racism exists everywhere, maybe systemically? Uh, systemically, and I feel like part of it is like how we're raised, okay. uh, personal experiences that we've had uh, with a certain race. Yeah. Uh, whether it had anything to do with race or not, it could be a coincidence. Ooh. But I do feel that uh, it's possible, like let's say somebody was isolated and um, never saw another race. Okay. In that situation, I, I would say, well, how could they be racist? But uh, without mm. like without a control group and just people just living their lives. Yeah. I don't want to use the word impossible, but I feel like yeah, it's not realistic. I I grew up in a um, a very racist environment. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, I I had no choices choice but to probably be quite racist when I was maybe twenty or something. Okay. These days, I find almost nothing of that in me that I see. Yeah, yeah. And and I bet there probably still is. Uh-huh. I'm just not sure where to... I'd like to get rid of it. Yeah. If there is any. I, I'd like to find it and pluck it out with tweezers. But do you, do you believe that there's, I guess... Uh... There's a reasoning behind why certain people are racist. Yes. Okay. Sure. If you're trained racist, uh -huh. and you didn't know any better, and your, and your parents taught you this, yeah. if you've got racist parents, yeah. you're going to start off racist. There's no, a, a child has no choice in this. That is, yeah, that is, yeah that's probably, I agree with that. Yeah. I think there's also, a, um, 
I think there's a um, in mammals, yeah. just in general. Yeah. We we learn to relate to people that look like us different than people that don't. Yeah. There's an in-out group natural yeah. thing. I think I had to learn uh -huh. to expand my out group to all humans. Okay, uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm trying to ask, but this is kind of an example. Sure, you can so, ask me anything. I'm only going to use this because I'm Asian. Yeah. I, I, um, so I guess there's like a, r a racist stereotype. Yeah. Even though they say, oh, that's not racist, that's just a stereotype. But this is, I feel, a racist stereotype. Okay. That Asian women are not good drivers. Oh. Um, that may sound racist, and that's definitely not all the way true, like a blanket statement. But I do believe that is more often true than not. Okay. And like, even whenever I, I used to take my mom to drop her off at like a Korean supermarket. Yeah. In that parking lot, I would always be more careful. Okay. I just, and obviously I wasn't raised to think that way. Okay. That was just based upon my experiences. Okay. From being fender benders. And then I also feel like it almost stems to a cultural thing yeah. where women in that culture I'm talking about typically maybe Koreans. Okay. They're not as, I guess, from a childhood, like maybe in my parents' generation, yeah. as encouraged to, you know, drive from an early age or something like that. So that could be causes of why maybe they're not as good I bet driver. women in Saudi Arabia, yeah. on average, don't drive as well as men because yeah. they haven't had the option. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we're basing that based upon race, but it's not just because of their race. It's the culture and everything behind it. It's a cultural it. thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, if someone asked me, hey, do you think, like, if we did like a sample size, a huge sample size, like more, like, women from 40 to 60, um, at a Asians versus like Caucasian females, like, which one do you think has like more like accidents or fender benders? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, honestly, I would say probably Asians, and I guess that's racist, but this is just what I've seen and what I've experienced. Um, so, hmm. in, in that sense, I, I feel like some, I, I do feel like there's there's an importance of knowing like some type of statistical background when you go into a situation yeah just like i would i would be mere, more fearful of my younger sister going down a dark alley and if i was seeing what she's seeing and it was a, a, like a, a male figure not, not even including her sister, <laughs> male, then a female because i okay. feel like even though a female can do just as much damage even especially like these days yeah. like whether they're trained in martial arts or whatever i just feel like so tools are great yeah, equalizers yeah. We're so, very tool usery. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like dogs are pretty similar. They're not racist, but just based okay. upon like what, what experiences that they've seen or felt in, in, in situations with a certain type of race, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, I see them react differently. So I don't know if it could ever be fully eliminated. Um, I definitely think most racism is, is definitely bad. Mm -hmm. um, but, and I don't want to say it's like it's innate in us to be racist, but I do feel like it is part of us to make prejudgments. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think the more we're cultured, yeah. the more we are able to experience other uh, things than what we've always known, in, like from growing up from okay. either our parents or our, our uh, environment, that that will give us new ideas to what that type of person originally you thought w could be or is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, in there, I'm trying to come up with one claim yeah. that was made that have a confidence, and I'm, yeah. I'm not sure I have one. Uh -huh. uh, so as far as going back to your question, to keep it simple, I, I would say it, it would be nearly impossible. Okay. Yeah. So a member of the audience asks, is it racist if it's true? No. It's not racist if it's I mean, true. I mean, I mean, I mean uh, it's still racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still racist yeah, yeah, yeah. if it's true. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, and here's the thing, like, mm -hmm. I just think anytime uh, any like prejudgment statement or action is made solely based on race, is is uh, it's a, a racist like I guess action or statement or because unless you like got to like talk to the person and ask them or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you st you still concluded to an answer. Yeah. But just based upon like a lineup, and we saw like. You know, I'll, I'll use a different example. Like, hey, like, honestly, out of all these people, I, I feel like, I don't know, the tallest person will be the best at basketball. Yep. It's not, that's not based on race. It's just that's, based that's on height. That's pretty fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's pretty but, fair. Which, but I'm sure we can both admit it's not always the case. 
Yeah. Um, so it's sad that I think that we do use race as a pre, not a precursor, but as something that we, I guess. I think if you're seven feet tall in the U.S., yeah. you have a one in seven chance yeah. of having yeah. been in the NBA, or at least scouted, or like at least got a scholarship to uh, play Division One. Right, well, yeah. one in seven. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's like, ah, uh, oh, yeah. oh, okay, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, I think the the the, the better, uh, I guess, um, possible outcome is the effort that people try to make mm -hmm. to kind of like uh, get out of their comfort zone yeah and to because to be honest like I, i'm a pretty prejudiced person okay but at the same time i i definitely think i'm an open-minded person yeah so i do feel like I, i'm pretty like uh, confident in my uh, experiences and judgments for me to you know conclude to to like saying something but at the same time i'm definitely open and I feel like humble enough to know that I can be wrong. So imagine <sighs> that we listen to your position really yeah. well. Uh -huh. And in general, uh -huh. the whole population moved toward your position. Uh -huh. What would happen? What would change in the world? Well, well, first of all, I'm not a, I, I always, I think individualism is, is um, really important. And I'm not it, talking about they just uh -huh. conform. I mean, you told them and they got they became oh, convinced. That kind of idea imagine that they became enough convinced by what you're saying that you had a profound effect in the world what would that effect lead to i never thought about it that way because uh, i never really like was asked in a matter where like it would be a reflection of everybody else after that but mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like to think that it would be a better world because I hope that I'm living my life so that it's making a better world. So if I'm saying that everyone is going to adapt the same type of like uh, methodology that I'm thinking, mm -hmm. um, I would like to hope that, you know, people would be open minded enough that even though they were repeatedly persecuted mm -hmm. or judged by a certain race, that they can still have an open mind and heart to know that it's not always the situation and it's not because of their race that they were doing that to you but um and it's okay to kind of have feelings like of not only resentment but a fear mm -hmm. but you know when we let those type of emotions control our lives especially our decision making yeah. it really not only like cripples us but i feel like hinders us mm -hmm. so um I mean, if you live a life of fear, it's, 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 you're always going to kind of get those similar type of, um, uh, I guess, uh, results, whether it's um, mm. you just avoid it or um, I'm not saying that we always have to face all of our fears head on. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just having the idea that like not everything that you've experienced is how the world works, I feel like is uh, will allow people to kind of give not only others a second chance, but themselves and, and like uh, kind of like giving them enough hope mm -hmm. that hey even though like in prior situations like particularly with this race i've experienced let's just say it's something negative mm -hmm. and bad and something that i can't even begin to kind of like um, um i guess like understand because mm -hmm. to be honest i I've, I've experienced like bits and pieces of mostly name calling racism mm -hmm. which is to me like so like i'm, I'm not affected by i guess mm -hmm. Um, Good but, job. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely been called the worst. <laughs> so, uh -huh. um, but you know, like when when we're able to kind of like, mm, you know, like not let uh, just like bad negative experiences, uh -huh. especially if it's just we're just like because we're talking talk about racism right now. Yeah. Um, you know, just to just so that they can like because it only takes one person. I feel like. Because I've I've um, I've had a friend that was similar to that where they one, were one person to what to change their mind even though it took oh, okay. like ten people to yeah. make them feel a certain way yeah and they say and then them to blanket that hey all like for instance this example was like he just ha he was very racist uh, okay. amongst Mexicans okay um, I don't know if because of the store that his parents owned in a in a very highly affluent uh, me Mexican area okay um, I'm thinking just in a poor neighborhood as well too mm -hmm. but anyways so he just always kind of had that like. Um, 
and I don't know how serious and how much validity it was behind it, but it always kind of made like sly remarks, even if it was regarding eating Mexican food or something like that. Mm. And then one day out of the blue, this guy calls me and he's crying. Oh. And I'm like, yo, what's going on? He's like, dude, man, like, it was, I don't know, like, he couldn't barely talk. Basically, his car broke down. Uh -huh. It was in a, va a bad, sketchy neighborhood. Yeah. He had no idea what, it was kind of a brand new car. And then all of a sudden, a car pulls up to, and, and at first he was scared, but he, he felt, uh, okay, because there was kids in the back. Okay, nice. And then it was night, and then some Mexican gentleman jumped out of his car, hardly spoke any English. Yeah. Started, without words, just started helping him. Yeah. Yeah. He noticed he didn't have the proper tools to fix his tire, and then basically did everything. They handed him the right luck. Yeah. Without oh, any, fantastic. Yeah. Without any like type of like, they didn't even exchange numbers or whatever. He, he right. Just, it right. was like, no literally he felt like it was angel sent down. Wow. And like, cool. and was telling me this, and then like, um. In the beginning, I don't know if he said it, and I just didn't catch it. Like, I didn't even realize uh, the person that helped him was a Mexican guy. He was just like, yeah, like, I, you know, like, I can't believe I felt this way, okay. you know, towards this, right? And then, like, obviously, he's, he was able to shoot me so many prior, <laughs> previous examples. But this one man changed his whole, you know? Uh, and this sounds, I don't, I don't know if this makes the story any better or whatever, but he's now married to a Mexican woman. <laughs> and obviously, so his kids are, you know, have Mexican and, yeah. um, you know, so... As much as like bad experiences can, you know, uh, I guess mold us into like a certain like a way or uh, a feeling about like a, a group of people. Um, I hope that, you know, you know, when the opposite, I guess, um, scenario happens, yeah. that they could also be open minded enough to know that, hey, like, yeah, you know, that's, yeah, that's so, good. It seems like one event. Yeah is not a good reason to change your mind about a whole group but yeah. in this case i'm going to take it <laughs> okay because uh, because i already think i already think that or, in general almost yeah. everybody are really nice yeah. people you know what that's a that's a really quick because he shouldn't have think it as like oh now that they're all like he should have realized now how stupid he was to think that yeah yeah it was yeah, just yeah, the yeah, error yeah, before yeah, yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah, that yeah. this yeah 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 because it's also foolish to think you're right just because one person like everyone's going to be nice but at, at the same time just to know that and you have hope that you know every person is capable of that yeah so so um one i have a question from yeah. the audience uh -huh. can a person have a conversation about race without being racist yes 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 i think so okay mm -hmm. and then i feel like we are doing that right now mm -hmm. um I mean, I, I don't know. I, I could have said some things that people might feel as though is racist, which I wouldn't like argue with. Like, uh huh. Because at the end of the day, I, I started starting to realize that there's no like. I remember when I had this argument recently with a with a friend, mm -hmm. like, because I was like, you know, even like when I was a kid, like, someone would be, oh, you must be good at math because you're Asian, or whatever. I was like, mm. hey, that's racist, but that's positive, right? He's like, no, that's not racist. If anyone says anything positive, it can never be racist. So we had this big argument about. Like, I, I said that, hey, anytime someone just makes any type of judgment based upon race, yeah. I feel like it's racism. But he's like, no, no, only if it's like, hey, like... Only negative, it's negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, okay. we even looked it up in the dictionary, and then it did say something, like, in a yeah. negative... It didn't say anything like what I was saying. So I was kind of like, oh... You know, and at the end of the day, it doesn't make what the dictionary say right. It's how yeah. we interpret it, these words as to what we feel is behind it so i think i can come up with lots of easy examples of very racist things that i could say that are all positive yeah like yeah, yeah, yeah. white people are better at mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah okay would that would that take care of it you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. old white men yeah, yeah. uh <laughs> are you know in yeah. the positive yeah 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 uh okay so, so i think I've really enjoyed this conversation. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for very much me. for yeah. it. Uh, like, I, I don't have any further questions from okay. the audience, uh -huh. and I got through my whole flow chart. Yeah, thank you. Is it? Uh, would I be able to hear this podcast? Yes. Okay. It, right now, it's being live streamed. Okay. Uh, we're happy to show you where it is. Okay. He has a card. Okay. Uh, it's being live streamed to YouTube and Twitch. Okay. And then, uh, sometime maybe tonight or tomorrow, yeah. I will take and lop each of the conversations into its own video, so okay. you can watch it by itself. Okay. Uh, and and it will probably mention Phil and uh, and Julia. Julia, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Phil, Julia's human. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Correct. <laughs> Trying to be. <laughs> yes. So thank you. Thank uh, you. We'd like to hand, we'd like to give you one of those puzzle pieces. Oh. One. Oh, you okay. can pick any one of the three. It's oh. an obvious bribe to have you come back yeah. for more conversations. Ah, I see. I see. I see. There Blue for the win. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay.